Hey friends, thanks for joining me. I'm Andrew Axum with Axum Outdoor Adventures. Today I want to talk to you about slingshot addiction. You ever find yourself saying this is going to be the last frame I buy for a while and then before you know it you got a couple more showing up in the mailbox? Uh, I've been there my friend. Uh, I think we all have and I want to tell you why that's not exactly a bad thing. But in order to do that, I kind of have to tell on myself a little bit. So uh, give you a little bit of my background. I have always suffered from anxiety. Um, and for about 20 years, I self-medicated with alcohol, um, which didn't work out well for me. Uh, the cure ended up being worse than the cause. And I gave that up uh, about four or five years ago. Uh, got interested in slingshots, not immediately, but it kind of ended up helping fill the void. Um, I found for me, going home and having some beers after night became more of a lifestyle than anything. I didn't really know what else to do at night sometimes, and I needed something exactly like slingshots to uh, kind of kind of fill that void. Um, so I went for about two years after I quit drinking and was doing pretty well with anxiety. And I had a situation arise that really caused me to have an onset of it pretty quickly. And uh, right about that time, a buddy of mine at work showed me a Rufus Hussey video um, on YouTube. And that night I was watching slingshot videos. And the next day I had, uh, Axiom Ocularis in the mail and I'd been addicted ever since. Um, but you know, I found that slingshots has really helped with my anxiety. And the only reason I'm putting this video out, I've started it a couple times. I didn't know if it would be well received. And then the more I see people on social media though, um, I see a lot of people talking about struggling with exactly that, the same thing, maybe not alcohol, but cigarettes, whatever else habits they want to give up. And I thought this has worked for me. Um, both of my grandfathers were pretty heavy drinkers. One of them ended up becoming a Pentecostal pastor um, after he quit drinking. And uh, I guess this has sort of become my ministry in a way because this has um, really kind of filled a void in me. It gave me something to do at night besides go home and drink and self-medicate that way. I now self-medicate this way, which is mu much healthier. Um, a few examples of ways, even if you can't be out shooting, the weather doesn't always cooperate. Maybe you don't have a place where you can shoot every evening, but you know, you can probably make bands um, where you live, even if you can't get out and shoot. Uh, slingshot stuff is relatively inexpensive as hobbies go. So I just ordered myself a new, uh, temple, a uh, bit taper ruler. Um, I had one, but it had been kind of chewed up for my rotary cutter and stuff. So $10 and you know, you're saying, what does that have to do with what you're talking about? It gave me something to look forward to going home and getting out of the mailbox that wasn't a bill. Um, so it brought a little bit of joy into my day for $10. And just this week, I have received a couple of slingshots in the mail. Got a uh, new X, uh, sorry, Scout LT2. Got a few shots in before dark last night. Got a beautiful custom Nova. My buddy Dave Longworth um, built and I picked up from him last weekend. So, you know, there's always something that you can do with slingshots. Um, right before I started to record this video, the mail came and I got a package. I'm going to grab it real quick. I don't even know what's in it. I, I mean, I do, but I don't. My buddy Adam and I swapped uh, frames last week and he told me he was going to hook me up and send me some goodies. So uh, let's see what we got. Adam Cantrell. Oh, there's one. Oh, a couple of frames. Let's see what Adam hooked me up with here.
Ooh, that's still interesting. Oh, it's a wasp. Uh, it's not the Delta Wing. This is the, the wolf. Yeah, I had the Delta Wing. Uh, up here, they're pretty similar, but I'm really excited to try this. He was telling me how good this is for pinch grip, and it does feel really good. Um, let's see what else we got here. Thank you, Adam. That was awesome. Oh, I think I know what this might be. It is. Uh, I have been wanting one of these for a long time. The uh, Union Jack Unifox. So that is sweet. Oh, that's got the gold emblem. I don't know if they all have that. I didn't notice that on the other ones that I looked at. But very cool. Thank you, Adam. And uh, I hope this video has not been too off base. I hope it helps somebody. Um, it was a little weird putting it out there, but I feel like somebody can benefit from this. So hopefully you do. Uh, go down and hit like and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. That'd mean a lot to me. But um, hopefully this did help. Thanks for watching. Get out there and sling.